responsible for abusing the baby so badly he suffered 21 rib fractures and a broken leg. KXY4 Chef Humphrey here now with how those injuries were discovered and a big increase in child abuse cases in our area, Jeff. Nadine, no one seems to know why, but kids are getting abused almost four times more often than they were from this time last year. Fortunately, there is a Spokane organization that works to prevent child abuse and doesn't hesitate to call police when they see it. Partners with Families and Children helps young or poor parents raise happy, healthy kids. We just help try to give the families resources for what they need to strengthen their family and be a good nurturing family for their children. Partners puts a lot of time into preventing child abuse, but its nurse and doctor have also become experts in spotting it and make regular trips to local emergency rooms. So they both hear at our office and also um, get called in occasionally to the hospital to do consults uh, for when there may be some suspect of whether or not child abuse is involved. March 18th, nurse practitioner Teresa Forche was caring for a three month old boy with a broken leg and multiple rib fractures. And she she does a very thorough um, exam. Her documentation is amazing and when necessary, um, you know, she will get police or child protective services involved. In this case, Forche called Spokane Police to Sacred Heart and told detectives the baby's injuries were no accident. The infant 17 year old mother denied abusing the baby and so did her boyfriend, who is not the child's biological father. Both of them have refused to take polygraph tests and so now the three month old is in foster care. Partners with families and children officials say they've seen a dramatic increase in the number of child abuse cases here in Spokane. We don't really understand why or what the reasons are, but I know that uh, our medical team with Teresa and Michelle, they've been called to the hospital to do far more hospital consults this year than ever before. Now, Spokane police may be ever able to prove who injured this baby by the same token. This young mother may never get her child back unless she tells detectives who abused her son. Reporting in Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.